hello everyone welcome back to keto blogging and in today's video i am going to show you how you can set minimum and maximum quantity for your woocommerce order so as you can see there is no option to add minimum and maximum quantity set by woocommerce for this you need to use plugins like this or we have different plugins like this or minimum and maximum quantity for woocommerce but you don't need a plugin for that you can just add it simple code snippet to your woocommerce website and you can enable minimum and maximum quantity for product so if you set minimum quantity of two then user have to select a minimum quantity of two products before they can proceed to check out so let's check how we can implement this in our woocommerce website so for this let me go to the back end of the website here and here you can use a code manager plugin to add these code snippets so let me just go to the product page and click on all products here and here we have some sample products so let me click on edit first and here let me scroll down let's go to inventory and as you can see there is no option to set minimum quantity or maximum quantity here so you can only limit purchase to one item per order so if you are selling a low margin product then you need to set a minimum quantity so that you can maximize your margins and the delivery cost will be around same but you will get more margins so to implement this we can use a code manager plugin so here i am using wp code plugin just install and activate this free plugin or you can use plugins like code snippets so here let me click on add new snippets here and let me click on custom code snippet now here you need to select the php snippets now let me copy the code snippet so let me copy it and let me add this code snippet and i can set a title like this min min and max order quantity like this and let me click on activate and let's click on save snippet so the best part of code snippet is that you can easily turn off and activate it with a single click so you can test it out and you don't have to use multiple plugins because plugins have a lot of options and you don't need all those options so it will be easy to use code snippet and make the website load faster so we have added the code snippet let's go to the front end and let's go to the shop page here and suppose i want to add a minimum order quantity for this product so if i click on here and if i click on add to cart and if i click on view cart then i can easily proceed to check out but if i set a minimum order quantity so let me click on here and let me click on edit product and once you go to the product edit page let's click on inventory and now you will see two option minimum quantity and maximum quantity so let's say i want to set a minimum quantity of two so user have to add at least two product to the cart so that they can check out so let me update it now let me go to the product page here and let me click on add to cart and as you can see minimum quantity for this product is two so let me add two and let's click on add to cart now the product is added to cart so let's click on view cart here and let me close it here now let's go to shop page and let's assign a minimum order quantity for this product or you can directly go to dashboard go to products all products and you can select any of the products here and click on inventory and you can see you can change the minimum order quantity here so let me go back and let me click on here and let's click on inventory and let's set a minimum order quantity of 3 here and let's update or you can set a maximum quantity of 10 here let's update it now let's click on product now let me add this to cart and as you can see minimum quantity is 2 so let me try with 2 let's click on here and let me click on 4 now i can add this product to my cart so this is how this minimum order quantity works so if you go to and set a quantity of above 10 then it will not proceed so let me click on here and let me set a product quantity of 12 and as you can see maximum quantity for this product is 10 so user can set a maximum of 10 quantity per product and if you go beyond that it will show this error like this 
and you can also display a minimum and maximum quantity order in your product page so for this let me copy a code snippet here so if you copy this code snippet then there will be added a minimum order quantity label on the product page and you can also add a label on the archive pages like shop pages or category pages so let me go to code snippet and let me add this code here and i want to display label on the category pages as well so let me copy it and let me paste it here let's update it now let me go to this page and let me refresh it and as you can see now it will display minimum order quantity 3 so let me go to shop page here let's click on here and you can see it is displaying minimum order quantity of 2 and in shop page also you will see this label minimum order quantity is 2 minimum order quantity is 3 so this is how we can display a label on the shop page and product pages as well so you have also more controls suppose you want to um, allow um, proceed to check out if there is at least two products or three products in the card then you can also enable that so for this we have the code snippet like minimum order quantity in card so you can set like two so if someone add three products in the card then only it will proceed to check out or if i set it to two then user have to purchase at least two product before they can proceed to check out so you can also use code snippet like this so you have all the controls while using the code snippet and you can also enable this code so let me copy it and let's add this code snippet here so what it does is it will remove the option to select one product so if you have set minimum quantity of three so let me refresh this page and let's say here we have the minimum order quantity of two so let me click on here and as you can see by default is set to two and user can set one product here and if you, you can increase it but you can decrease it below two so this is how it works so if you click on here then here we have set the minimum order quantity to three so user can select two or one quantity here but they can select a higher value like this so you can also use a code snippet like this so it will restrict the user to select a quantity below the minimum set quantity that you have assigned in the product page so this is how the code snippet works so i will provide all the code snippet in the description and write a detailed blog post on this so you can implement it on your woocommerce website pretty easily and if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and if you still have any doubt then you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to join our telegram group where you can share your doubts with screenshots and we will try to help you as soon as possible thank you